we do an awful lot of things on autopilot on, or on automatic. Think back, if you will, to your last shower, um, last night or this morning or a week ago Tuesday, whenever you last had a shower, okay? Now, a shower is a pretty interesting experience if we uh, pause to reflect on that. We live in the developed world, and therefore, we have the privilege of adjusting the temperature to be just right. You know, this is the Goldilocks in the shower experience. No, that's a little too warm. I think I'll change it. No, well, that's a little too cool. We go back and forth until we get it just right. I assume the Philadelphia area is not, um, you know, particularly conservative culturally, so you are probably naked, right? <laughs> and in the process, you were washing your whole body using a soap that probably had a name like Jasmine Zen, right? And rubbing it all over your body, including your private parts, with thousands of droplets of perfectly temperatured water striking you everywhere. Now, this is a very rich, sensual experience. A lot is going on here. And yet, if you're like me, you're capable of spending the entire time lost in the thought stream, thinking about what happened yesterday, planning the day today, and otherwise not being present. It can get so bad, I've had the experience of taking a full shower and at the end thinking, did I wash my hair? Didn't that, was that yesterday, you know? So it's remarkable to start observing how much we do on automatic, the degree to which we actually don't show up for our lives. We also spend a lot of time being lost in fantasies of the past and the future. These are correlated events, obviously. Who here has already had the thought, I wonder if this guy's going to be any good? <laughs> Nobody raises their hand. Okay, who had the thought, but you're too polite to raise your hand and say that? Okay, now I see a bunch of nods. Right, thank you. Okay, I want you to examine that thought for a moment. Because we have these kinds of judgment thoughts all day long in which we're evaluating, is this going to be a good experience or not for me? <clears throat> and those thoughts are actually fantasies of the future. What they are, are they're a quick scrolling forward thinking, at the end of this day, am I going to feel gratified about having chosen to come here or not? Am I going to feel that was a good choice, I'm glad I spent some money, I'm glad I took the day off, or am I going to feel that uh, this was a big mistake and uh, he's not very useful and uh, <clears throat> the last time I do one of those, right? It's always about fantasies of the future. They're happening all the time. You'll see it at lunch. Hmm, what's on the menu? Is that going to make me happy? Is that not going to make me happy? The thing arrives. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that's disappointing. That's not how I expected it. Always these are constant, constant fantasies of the future. 